Drawing brick is very simple. A brick on a set of plans or a design drawing is just a, a basic rectangle. When you draw the bricks close up uh, to show a brick wall or a fireplace, the space in between the bricks represents the mortar joints. Draw the bricks in a line with a small gap, uh, one row at a time, and then move on to the row beneath. Uh, stagger the bricks to look like uh, a real brick wall. Keep the space even because that's how a brick wall is built. Uh, try to keep all your bricks the same size too. Uh, I'm doing it freehand, but if you, if you want your drawing to be exact, uh, then you should use a ruler uh, to measure out your bricks and all your mortar lines. When you draw a brick wall from farther away, you, you leave out the mortar gap. Just draw the bricks themselves. The lines represent the bricks and the mortar. In this elevation drawing, uh, I'm showing that the chimney is built out of brick by drawing bricks from the bottom to the top of the chimney. By drawing details like this in your elevation drawings, you clearly show the client and the builder the finished look you want uh, and the material you want them to use. Get really specific and, and exact about how you draw these elevation um, drawings. You can even show them where you want the bricks, the pattern you want them laid in, and uh, all the spacing. Uh, you can get really detailed with these. The same method is used for interior elevation drawings. Here I'm measuring out each brick because the drawing is to scale and, and more exact than the, the drawing you saw before. If you want your design drawing to be you know, really accurate, then use a ruler and measure everything. Draw your bricks to scale with the pattern you want them installed in. Uh, these types of finished interior design drawings are great for showing the client and the builder exactly what you want and what everything's going to look like when it's done.